Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be walking through some dies that we have here and testing out loaded ammo runout. For the testing itself, we are measuring 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth on the loaded rounds themselves for any runout issues. 30 cases fired and resized runout measurements, and 30 cases that have a bullet seated in them looking for runout seated measurements as well. We've used this Sinclair runout gauge here for all of the testing that we have done so far. For the die breakdowns, we are testing the Reading Type S dies, the RCVS Matchmaster dies, Hornady New Dimension Custom Grade die set, Lee RGB, and the Area 419 M Series sizing die paired with the RCVS Matchmaster seating die. First up, let's go over the Reading Type S dies. Size runout on the cases, which yielded a mean of 0 .003 or 3 thousandths and an SD of 0 .0011. With the bullet seated now, the die set produced ammunition with a total indicated runout of 0.0005 to 0 0.006 when measured to the ogive of a Sierra 177 grain Match King, 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth. Average TIR was 3 thousandths and TIR SD was 0 0.0013. This means the average runout is 0.32. Degrees. For the Hornady new custom grade die set, we had a resize runout mean of 1 thousandths and an SD of 0 .0007. And with the bullet seated, our testing has indicated that our sample of this die set produces ammunition with a total indicated runout of 2 to 7 thousandths when measured to the ogive of a Sierra 175 grain Match King, 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth. Average TIR was 5 thousandths and TIR SD was 0 .0015. This would have an average TIR of 0.45 degrees. For the Area 419 sizing die, the resize case mean came out to 0 0.0005 with an SD of 0 0.0004. Now, we ended up using the RCBS Matchmaster seating die because there is not a seating die available yet for Area 419. As a result, we chose to use the RCBS Matchmaster seating die without knowing what the runout results were with it which you will see next with what the results are of the RCBS Matchmaster kit by just themselves. Since this isn't an Area 419 product, I can't say this is fairly representing the runout on these rounds with a bullet seated. Regardless though, our sample of this produces ammunition with a total indicated runout of one to five thousandths when measured to the ogive of a Sierra 155 grain Match King, 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth. Average TIR was 0.003, and TIR SD was 0 .0012. This means the average runout is 0.26 degrees. For the RCBS Matchmaster die set, we had a resize mean of 6 thousandths and an SD of 0 .0022, and our testing indicates that our sample of this die set produced ammunition with a total indicated runout of 2 to 20 thousandths when measured to the ogive of a Barnes 175 grain match burner, 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth. Average TIR was 0 .009 and TIR SD was 0 .0044. This means the average runout is 0.84 degrees. And finally, we have the Lee RGB die set. This produced a resize mean of 3 thousandths and an SD of 0 .0007. The die produced ammunition with a TIR of 0 .001 to 0 .011 when measured to the ogive of a Sierra 155 grain Match King 0.6 inches forward of the case mouth. Average TIR was 0 .0058 and TIR SD was 0 .0028. This would be an average TIR of 0 .55 degrees. And that's what we have for right now. If you're looking to see mixed combinations of resizing and seating with these dies or other sets we haven't tested yet, let us know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.